What is up guys, Ken Ross here, coming at you with another tutorial again today, like you guys wanted from that video that I posted earlier. This is that automatic gun sync. Uh, it's not going to look exactly like, because one, I don't have the same clip, two, I'm not using the same song, three, um, I'm not just going to do the same thing. So, pretty much what we have here is an MP5 clip of me just going to a private match. We have a song, I'm not going to play it for you because of copyright, so I'm sorry. You guys aren't going to be able to see a preview of this or how it turns out in the end, but you are going to see how I do it. And you, if you want a preview, you can just go to the other video that, that one time. So, yeah, thank you, and let's get started. Um, so pretty much what I'm going to do is I just have nine points here, that the, the, my sync points, I guess. Um, and I have my gunshots, so now I just want to add my markers. And to do that, I'm just going to drag this marker on here and then... Drag it till it gets to that point. Drag my marker. Drag it till it gets to that point. You want your markers to be about 10 to 15 frames apart. Um, these are a little farther because I couldn't find the great song. But this is just for a tutorial and you guys aren't even going to see it. So, yeah, just make sure it's like 10 to 15 frames. That's usually the best preview range for like a submachine gun. Um, eight and then nine. Here we go. Okay, so now we have our that. Now we just want to take our gunshots and line it up. So we just have our one little MP5 gunshot here. And um, I'm just going to control D or Apple command D to shift it or to duplicate it. Then I'm going to go to my next marker holding shift to snap to it. And then hit the left bracket so that we can see um, it can snaps to it. So then again, just duplicate it, left bracket, duplicate left bracket. Duplicate left bracket. If you guys want me to make a uh, keyboard shortcut tutorial, I can. I wouldn't mind doing that at all. Well, that can be really helpful for your workflow and stuff and doing make your edit faster. But yeah, now we just have that. So now we're just going to go to our first keyframe and find the first gunshot where I shoot first. It's just a private match. It's not actually killing anyone. So it looks to be like I shoot right about here. So now I just want to right click on the clip, go to time, enable timer mapping, make a keyframe here. Then we want to go and find the next shot, which is right here. Make a keyframe. We're going to do this nine times. And while I'm doing this, I would just like to say that um, I'm going for a partnership soon. So I would really, really appreciate it if you guys would stay active and and help me out here. I work so hard. I have 80-something videos, 36 of them now tutorials, and I would really appreciate it if I could get this partnership. Because um, I do this for you guys, and it would be awesome if I could get... To, to put that banner really the reason why I want a partnership is because of the banner on the channel and like the video thumbnails I think they're sweet all right so now we have nine I'm pretty sure so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh we don't need that last one there okay so now that we have the nine we just want to go and um to kind of drag here to select all of the keyframes even the one at the end except for the one that's on the first frame now we want to guide our marker over to the second keyframe. Click these and drag them and hold shift to uh, to make sure that they snap and let go. Um, then shift click this one so you can deselect it so that you don't have to like reselect all of those. And then go to the next marker and then drag them on. And then shift click to deselect. Um, drag these on. Shift click to deselect. Drag. Shift click. It's just kind of a repetitive process, but yeah. Shift click to deselect. I've literally done this tutorial eight times, guys. So that's dedication. It's, my computer's crashed on me eight times, and I'm not even kidding. Sh shift and deselect, and that's really all for a tutorial, guys. That's how simple automatic gun syncing is. And you have your gunshots, and like I said, I'm not going to show you a preview if you want. I can render out a preview, upload it unlisted, and show you guys, but it's copyright, so I'm not going to do that, but... um. Or I'm not going to show it in the video. But thank you guys so much for watching. That's really all I have to show for it, I guess. Uh, that's how easy it is. So yeah, go do it in some of your montages. Just don't overuse it because it can be tacky if you overuse it. Um, but thank you so guys so much for watching. And I'll check you all later. I'm out.